Hi, my name is Laura, and this is my horse, Red. Continue watching to see today's video. Bye! Good morning, guys. It is early, like 9 a.m., and we are racing to the barn. Um, we have our lessons early this week because it's spring break here and we are late because we had to sleep in us a little. Getting up this early in the morning is so hard for us. Go-kart season. The kids that live here have these go-karts so they've been riding them around the last couple of days. Anyway, we're racing to the barn. We have 30 minutes till we have to be riding. It takes us forever to get ready. You guys remember not that long ago in the summer when Jasmine refused a jump and threw Gabby over the jump head first and Gabby got terrified. And then Gabby didn't jump for like six months or something. Um, the ultimate goal has been to get Gabby back on Jasmine. She's never ridden her since and to get her jumping Jasmine again. That's the ultimate goal. And today might be that day, right? Yes, I'm prepared for the refusals, but she'll only refuse if she's going to like. Just wait, look, clouds. down there, when we were walking, I don't know if you can see, looked like it's such a nice spring day, and then we come through the trees and it's winter it's again. Cold. Yeah, super cold, you should have a coat on. Crazy yeah, girl. People have been asking how come Sophie never gets to manage Sabrina and walk her there and, and to the barn and back and stuff and it's because she doesn't really want to. It's not because she doesn't want to ride and she doesn't have interest in horses. It's because she just doesn't care. Just like me. I love walking Sabrina. I would do it in a second but I don't really care who does it. And Gabby loves to do it. So we all just kind of let her. But. If Sophia did want to do it, she would definitely have her turn. Can you guys tell the difference? Which one's the horse? Keep going. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being groomed by Sophie. Oh, that works. works perfect. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rockin' if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. Come on, Gabby. Come on, you can do it. Thank you. 
Come on, Gabby. Yeah, it just looks bigger because it's longer. Come on, Gabby. Come on, Gabby, it's the same height. Gabby was nervous. Jasmine, because she fell off Jasmine. So our goal was to get her to jump Jasmine again, and she finally did it. Got the courage to do it. Come on, Gabby, let's go. Let's do 
Gabby. I'm proud of you, Gabby. All right, we are home from the barn. Gabby's learning how to make hot chocolate in a Keurig, right? You think you got it down pat? Yeah. No, press the button. All right, you, are, you can start making coffee for your dad every day. No. Come on, high five me. I want to practice full seating to the jump. And then she went when you're Oh, you're practicing riding Jasmine for a while so that you can master that jump. It's so funny, Gabby and I are different. When I learn something new and I can't do it, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna do it. And I just wanna keep doing it. Of course, I didn't fall off, fly over top of the horse before. Um, that can definitely change things. Front flip, she did, she did a front flip over Jasmine in the past and almost landed on the jump. And that's why she's afraid to canter her over jumps. Baby step, she's getting there, and our coach is like, I'm gonna be mean about this, and I'm going to make her um, ride this horse for the next few times until she can do it. She needs to get past this. She just needs to get past it. So let's talk bunnies. The girls are staying home, having some hot chocolate, and Sam and I are going to get something for the bunnies. So the hay, alfalfa hay that we bought, is it alfalfa? No, it's mm -hmm. Timothy. Yeah, so the hay that I need for the bunnies is really expensive like a small bag for $24 like and less than an eighth of a bale for $24 you can buy a bale for $350 so we decided what we needed to do was find a farmer that farms that kind of hay and buy it straight from him and save ourselves so much money so that's what we're gonna do now we found a farm and we're gonna go pick up some hay for our bunnies you look like we're living in the middle of a farm. Ooh, we are! Terrible. These are the books that we got at the sale yesterday. The Complete Guide to Caring for Your Horse and Caring yeah, for Your I Horse. And I like them. But I really, really, really want to focus on our horse's health um, and learning about our horse's health. So I want to get a first aid kit. I want to buy one and I want to fill it up and I want to plan everything for that. So I want to know in the comments below, what do you guys put in your horse's first aid kit? 
What are the most important things? At least just tell me one important thing that you put in your first aid kit. So uh, this is Lucky here. We came in, he was out of his pen, and we frightened him so bad that he ran into the wall of the pen. Put him on the hay, put him on the hay. Our bunny setup sucks so bad, so, so bad. Um, that I'm gonna rearrange the whole thing soon. I'm gonna go and buy a bunch of different stuff. Set it up my way. I let Sam do it his way because I'm the kind of wife that's just like, he knows what he's doing. I'm just gonna let him do it. But yeah, it's terrible. Pink fluffy unicorns. All right, you guys, we sold one bunny. We have one bunny. Three left, two girls and a boy. So um, this guy is all alone still in his pen. He's not bonded with the other two bunnies that we have. So I need to figure that out. Can three bunnies be bonded together? Now that they're neutered, I'm having hope. I was having yeah, hopes. Yeah, there's four crows bonded. I was having hopes oh, no, that they would be able to bond together because I don't want them to be alone. See, he's bonded with us. He's so friendly. <clears throat> Okay, Mom, I rubbed my scent on uh, Daisy. Right, daily gum. dose of baby bunnies. Oh, they're hopping. Oh, they're hopping. Whoa. Ooh. Aw. Aw, they're not even a week old yet, and they've already grown so much. I get the runt, because the runt is tiny. Yeah. They all think their mama's coming to feed them, and they all talk. Listen. There's one so little. See, I think it's that one. No, it's not that one. There's one even smaller than that one, I think. Okay, listen. <laughs> there it is. Oh, look at how tiny. Hi guys, I'm in the back room here where all the schleich is. Schleich. The schleich room, I'm going to call it from now on. Eh? It's the toy room. It's the toy room. Our shirts are almost... And for some reason, this little dog was whining at me. No, she wants you to pet her. Anyways, we're going to end today's vlog. And, but before we do, we're going to do some comments of the day. And the first comment is from Erica. With three A's at the end. Is there any chance Erica. you can... Is there any chance you can keep Sabrina? No. You know what? We would actually keep Sabrina if we could. But mm, yeah. there's no chance. I don't think there's any chance for us to go here. <laughs> They use her in summer camps because she's a good beginner horse, so. Yeah. Plus, we're looking for our, our own horses now, right? Yes. Next time I go to Hallie Andres, and she says, Does your barn not, barn not have an outdoor? You always seem to be in the same arena. We live in Ontario, Canada, and it snows a lot. And uh, most of the winter, we were in the indoor arena. And yep. last summer, we were in the indoor arena because it was really hot out too yes so it's actually a little bit cooler in the arena but they will we will be riding in an outdoor arena this summer yep. which is i don't know three or four times as big as the indoor arena that we're riding in now <laughs> probably four times and probably five to ten times more dustier when it's <laughs> sunny and hot out no. last comment goes to georgia eventing and she says Hi, day by day. I love your channel, and it's my birthday tomorrow on the 14th of March. I'm writing this on the 13th of March, so can you please give me a shout out in your video? I'm turning 13. I love that you guys use bitless bridles. Anyways, there's so, your shout out. <clears throat> happy happy birthday, birthday, Georgia! Georgia. And uh, thanks for watching our channel. Anyways, that's it for tonight. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.